Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Science Lesson Video Number 2 on Food Chain and Food Web. Learners will be able to define the terms food chain and food web. List the parts of the food chain. State the role of the decomposer. All living things need energy to live. Living things get their energy from food. A food chain is the flow of food in the ecosystem from one living thing to another. A food chain also shows how energy moves through the ecosystem, the environment. Let us see what makes up a food chain. Living things in an ecosystem can be classified as producers, consumers, and decomposer. Producers are plants. They make up their own food. Consumers are animals. They eat other living things as food. Decomposers are living things such as mushrooms and earthworms. They break down dead plants and animals for food. Here is a simple food chain. We begin first with the plants. They are the producers. Then we have our consumers, which are, in this case, the rat and the cat. Our decomposer here is the mushroom. Here's another example of food chain, and we call this a tropic pyramid. It begins at the bottom, our producers, the plants, our primary consumers, those that eat the plant, our secondary consumers, those who eat the primary consumers, and then we have at the very top, our tertiary consumers, those who eat the secondary consumers, and sometimes we call them scavengers. Here we're going to remind ourselves that a food chain begins with a grain plant, the producer. It continues with an animal, the consumer that eats the grain plant. A food chain may include one or more other animals. Here is a food web. A food web is a combination of several food chains. Now, you are going to identify the parts of a food chain. You're going to look at for the energy, where the energy source will come from, the producer, the primary consumer, the secondary consumer, and the tertiary consumer. Let's go. What is the energy source? That's right, the sun is the energy source. And the producer will be the plant. Very good. What will be the primary consumer? That's right, we have the worm. And then we have the secondary consumer, the bird which eats the worm. And then we have our tertiary consumer, which is the bird, the big bird. That is the end of our lesson, food chain and food web.